Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm doing my weekly Walmart haul. Everything was on clearance online, except for one thing I purchased in store, but lots of sizes and colors available. And if you like this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up, subscribe if you're new, and let's get on with the haul. The first thing I picked up is a bodysuit from Prospect by the label. So it's more of a dressier top. It's wrap style, it has a little front closure. This is the type of material it is. So it is like a chiffon and it is double layered. The inside is like a flat material, but still more of a lightweight chiffon. And then the bodysuit on this is like a nude cotton. It is a full back, really stretchy at the bottom. And then this material is a little more um, on the stiff end. So not a lot of stretch, but it does have a drapey, not a fitted look to it. So this comes in black. I got the white and it's about $8 and change. So really good price. I think it's over 50% off. And then the next thing I picked up is from the brand free assembly. So this is another one of Walmart tire brands. I think this was $12. 11 or $12 and normally about 20. I don't have the price on here. So this comes in lots of colors. There's lots of sizes. It's a really lightweight chiffon material. I, I definitely need to steam it, but I'm super impressed with how nice this fabric is, especially for spring and summer when it gets warmer. And then the back on this is really pretty. So it has that mock neck. And then the, um, the back on this has a really nice size tie and you make a bow. So super pretty and if you don't want it to be like really fitted you can tighten it or loosen it as much as you'd like. I know this comes in black and white maybe one or two other colors and then there is a peplum style at the bottom. So really pretty. I got my normal size medium and I would say that is true to size. The next top I got is by Sofia Vergara and it is another bodysuit. So this one is a turtleneck. It is sleeveless, it's the same print all the way down. I got this snake skin and it does come in a leopard, which I was debating. This is $20, I think this was about $6, maybe a little less. And the back one on this one is a thong, so if you don't like that, then keep that in mind. The material on this is like, it's stretchy, but it's more of a thicker microfiber. I don't know if you could tell, but it's definitely not a more lightweight material. It's more of a stiff, stiffer, thicker, um, like substantial fabric, but it is sleeveless. So it's perfect for spring, for summer, for layering. And I don't think I have any snakeskin tops. The next top I got is from, I think it, it said, I can't think of the brand, but this says, Crave Fame. I think it said Almost Famous on the thing. So I, I got my normal size medium and I would definitely say size up in this. It's super small. It's definitely junior sizing. Um, the medium just fits me and but the arms like holes feel a little tighter than I'd like. I like a little bit more room but it's so so pretty. This comes in a white as well, but the floral on this is perfect for spring and summer. This is a like layered look. So the tank top does come attached and it's easy to like take it off. It's just like a little plastic thing and things they normally have under the armpit to hold your tops on hangers. So this is the bottom layer. And then the top layer is just the sheer chiffon material there is some smock detailing in the top and then also at the bottom and there is like a little peplum ruffle this was i think like five or six dollars so pretty see that's what holds the tank top in but like i said i would size up at least one i'm probably going to exchange it for a large or even two if you want it to be more comfortable the tank top on this is it's not the most comfortable material but it's not terrible for the price to get two tops. The next thing, I tried these on before because so I wanted to give you guys like sizing reference. So this one is from Scoop and this comes in two other colors. It comes in a pink and then I can't remember the other one. 
but they have a few prints with this style and I really, really love it. It's so pretty on. So it's a like off the shoulder, long sleeve, and then there is a little choker style detail around the neck. The bottom sleeve is a little bit of elastic. It's really comfortable, really nice, like a rayon type fabric. This one I think was $12, I think normally 25, so really good price. This is, yeah, 100% rayon. There's adjustable, um, like a little adjustable thing for the thing that goes around your neck, which is good. And I love the print. I think it's perfect to wear with white jeans, with denim, with this blue. You could wear any color denim because there's both dark and light in there and then the white. So super cute to wear with shorts, jeans. And then I got all this stuff for under like $80. So really good prices. The next thing is another item from Sofia Vergara. So I got the leopard this time and this is a dress. So it is a long sleeve. It's like a peasant style. It's more fitted in the top and then it flows out at the bottom. There is a like trumpet style skirt with a tear and then the sleeves have this little elastic detail there is a, a full zipper back it's just so unique and this also comes in a floral print but they didn't really have a lot of sizes in that i got my normal size medium i'd say it's true to size if you want it like really fitted you could even size down one the next thing i picked up is from the brand prospect by the label it's a beige colored dress it does have some swiss dots on there it has two layers so there's a chiffon top and then a like slip dress underneath that like stretchy cotton material so this comes in a burgundy and then also a teal and then this beige i thought this was so pretty to wear for easter um there's a little bow on the front you can untie that and just have it like more of a like boho style um, I got my normal size medium. I'd say it is true to size. Um, if you want a little bit more length because it is on the shorter end, you can size up. The sleeves are also not, they're like an awkward length. So it's not this, um, the end of this comes, I think, to the bottom of my wrist. So the elastic doesn't make it all the way to my wrist. So I would say this, the sleeves aren't three quarter. They're not like full length. They're just like maybe an inch shorter than full length. So I could be just have long arms. I'm not really sure, but it's really pretty. I think it's perfect and um, really good for the price. The next two items are jeans and they were under $7 or $8. I think one was five or six, one was seven or eight. Um, but they're definitely on the newer, like trendier end. So the first pair is from Vervet. And I got my normal size 20 and I would say if you are um, like me, if you're more of like an hourglass, so nine inches, your waist is nine inches or more smaller than your hips, then these are not for you. They're not for me, um, like pair and hourglass. This is more for like a straight body type because when I tried these on, they had like so much room in the back, but my whole butt was like flat it was like squeezed my thighs looked squeezed so these are not for you know more like bigger hipped girls they're they're for very straight body types so if your waist is nine inches or bigger than your hips then these are for you but if not i mean they're such a good price they're normally 45 46.98 and they're like five dollars and change and they are a wide leg they're that super wide leg that's really trendy right now they are a cropped length um i know this vervet jeans is a pretty good brand but i wish these work they just don't they're not like if i some people say size up and wear a belt but you're always going to have like that big gap and um and also that flattening and if things don't look good, why, you know, for something when there's so many options. Um, I remember when I was in high school, I'd, work, I'd shop at Contempo and 
their blue asphalt jeans were like this. I had almost the same kind of jeans that that was the style then, but they were longer and I still insisted on wearing them even though they look terrible. So that's that. But then the next pair is the same style. They're from Jordache, but these are more stretchy and they're, they're definitely cut to fit an hourglass shape a way more because they do have that stretch. They're more high waisted. Those were more of a mid rise. So I really like these. I think these were the cheaper of the two. Um, these are a little bit longer too. My cat loved them. She took a nap on them. So they do have like some black fuzz on it, but I really am super impressed with the Farrah Crop Flare. So cute. They just have such a nice feel to them. They're comfortable. You can bend and stretch. And um, they do have these in other colors. I saw like other listings for them. So I might pick those up too. I'll see. You know, I don't want to go too crazy. I am someone that likes to try new trends, but we don't know how long this is going to last. These super, super wide legs. Next thing I picked up is a t-shirt. We're going to Disney World today. And I knew that when I made this order. So it's just the Disney princesses. It says once upon a time and it was $5 and change. I don't think you could beat that. It's more of a like bigger fit. So you could get your normal size. Um, or size down if you want it to be a little bit more fitted. So it's not like, I mean, it's a good comfortable t-shirt and for $5 and change, it is like a Disney brand top. It has the Disney tags. So I thought that was good. And then the last item I picked up in store, they were on sale for $7 and they're the almost famous high rise trouser. So these looked so much like the Abercrombie jeans last year, the paper bag style, that I really, really wanted them, but I kept waiting till they went on sale. And then one of like YouTuber, mommy vlog or whatever, um, posted them and they like never went down in price again. So it was like once she shared them, I think so many people bought them, they were like down to a few and they knew they could get the money for it. So they were like 70 or $80. And I don't pay that for jeans, not especially not Abercrombie. So now I have that same style jean. They're like almost identical. Um, they don't have pockets in the back. I got my normal size seven. And I think these are a little pricier online. They're $27. But if you go in your stores, if you sell that, if you have that almost famous brand in your Walmart, then right now they're starting to mark these down. All right, so that is it for this haul. Thank you so much for watching. Give it a thumbs up if you liked it and don't forget to subscribe. Bye.